Hello class, uh, welcome to 91610 uh, Conceptual Design. Today we're going to talk about research. So before we get cracking with this, um, we're going to just reflect quickly back on our design brief, the example I set. And what you're trying to do is find research that relates directly to that brief. What you don't want to do is just find um, random examples of um, existing products that don't really relate to this brief. Now the reason why you need to do all of this is because this is your assessment schedule. Looking at the first criteria to pass, it says you need to generate and evaluate design ideas informed by research. So you, do, you need to do this research part and to do it well to pass. And you need to include the analysis of existing products, so looking at existing go karts and the context considerations. So you're going to do that in subsequent videos, you're going to be looking at that area. And then you need to use that evidence and research to um, generate functional modeling and get some good quality feedback from your stakeholders. And then you can evaluate your conceptual designs. So the research is an integral or a really important part of um, what you're going to be marked on. So if you remember from previous videos, this is the design brief uh, we set for ourselves. This is an example. You need to set this as a team. So my research, I'm really going to focus in on the uh, attributes that I've given one, ones or twos, so the high priority attributes. So things like the tires, the weight, steering. Um, not so time isn't relevant at this point, but um, I'm not going to find examples that are way too complicated to make. Uh, brakes and the motor. So those are the areas I'm going to focus on. Just had a bit of a dog barking there, sorry class. So uh, let's look at the tyres for example. So I've said I want to find um, design requirements. I need to find uh, an example with smaller front wheels and a larger back wheel. And looking at weight, I need to find examples of the low centre of gravity. Looking at safety, I'm looking for examples that have roll cages, um, brakes, I need to find examples that have probably disc brakes um, or, uh, yeah, probably disc brakes actually. And motor is not so relevant at this stage. So what I did is, first a good starting point is to look at what was successful last year in last year's competition. So if you just did a quick Google search like me, looked up 2018 e-velocity drag race I found this example um, which I thought might be quite relevant to my brief and I also found an e-velocity what the winning time was for last year's um, cart the um, standard class so you can see Hillcrest High School got a top speed of 39 kilometers so if you're looking to get the fastest time this year that's the target to get more than 30 kilometers. So I'll show you um, just a quick picture as well. Over here, here's a close up of this vehicle. So you can see this is the one I'm going to use for my research and do some analysis on this. So it's quite a good example of um, a really well made frame. It's got a good standard steering setup, it's got the roll cage at the back. Obviously, it's got two front wheels that are smaller, BMX wheels. The reason why BMX wheels are good is because they've got an additional spokes, which makes them a little bit stronger than your standard 27-inch wheels. So back to my research, um, I've copied my attributes from the brief. So the motor, it's got a 350-watt motor. Gearing, I can't really see what kind of gearing set it's got up, so I can't add really any comments on that. The battery and motor is probably at the back behind that roll cage. It has 24 volts of battery. Um, brakes, again, I can't see any brakes on the front wheel, so I imagine it's got some sort of caliper or disc on the back wheel. Steering and suspension, there's no front suspension. Uh, it's got a straight handlebar, and the set steering setup looks standard, like pretty much what you'd find on a standard go kart. The weight, Excellent use of a low center of gravity. So you can see if we look at that example again So you can see how these front axles here um, The whole frame sits below the front axles so that brings the 
the weight very low to the ground. So you can see it's got, it's only just sitting off the ground, um, which reduces overall drag, i.e. increases speed and power. So that's a really good way to design the frame. And the tyres, uh, we've talked about what that setup, uh, safety and style, it's got that roll cage at the back, a front grille, got a couple of wing mirrors which might be helpful for um, if you compete to see your competitors in the back. And it's, uh, yeah, got a, quite a cool style, quite a lot of the ground. So I've just said, does it have um, the motor, does it have the same attribute I'm looking for in my brief? Yes. Does it have the same voltage? Yep. Has it got steering and suspension that I was looking for in the brief? Yes. And weight? Yes. Tires? Yes. I don't know about the brakes or the gearing. So you can see that design there meets most of the attributes in the brief. Um, I've shown this to my stakeholder. They said that they like the low center of gravity to improve speed. Uh, it could be improved with the front and nose cone. And then I've written my own conclusion at the bottom using PIN. So I've said, you know, a positive, interesting, and negative statement. Uh, I thought it had good low center of gravity, would make it fast and reduce drag. Uh, I like the use of wing mirrors, which is good for racing conditions. And I said negative, there's no nose cover, so it's got a large front end that creates extra drag. So to improve that design, it could be maybe adding a, some sort of nose cone to create a more aerodynamic shape. So that's what you need to do. You need to find your own examples and you need to find three of your own examples um, to complete this research part. The second example I found is just a general um, three-wheel go-kart design. So here's a picture of it here. Whoops, there's not a picture of it there. So I'll just zoom in on this one for you. So that, this is a good example of a standard um, three-wheel go-kart. So you can see it's got a standard steering system. What it does have is the frame extends out from the front, which protects that steering. And it's got a steering hood that comes straight up from the middle, so you can get your legs on either side of the steering, back suspension, um, some fat tires at the back, maybe for some off-roading, and then there's your engine here. Uh, and then the seat kind of sits quite low as well. So that might be um, a good example to analyze. So just in summary, no matter if you're looking at doing um, the steering or um, front suspension, or if you're doing the chassis and seating or the rear drive system and brakes, you need to um, look at the entire vehicle for your research. So look at the whole thing, and then you can kind of hone in on the area you're designing uh, when you get to the concept stage.